Welcome to Edison TV. I'm Marvereen Cole, and today I'm joined by Edison analyst John Savin to talk more about Stratec Biomedical. John, thanks very much for joining mm -hmm. me. So first of all, tell people a bit more about what Stratec Med Biomedical do and where they operate and so on. Yeah, they're a German company, uh, IPO 1998, so well established on the Frankfurt Exchange. And they're based in the, the principal offices in the, in the Black Forest in Germany. Uh, rural location, but very close to Frankfurt, uh, Stuttgart, Heidelberg. The main thing they do is, is to build and design complex diagnostic instruments. So this is optical systems, electronics, and above all, software that work on systems they make for the top 20 diagnostic companies in the world. Now, your note focuses on the fact that um, Stratec is a very German business. However, it does sell globally. So why the particular emphasis? When you visit the company and talk to the management, you get this very uh, conservative, uh, cautious approach to business. This comes from the area of Germany where it's based, which is Swabia, uh, hence the note is called Swabian Strategy. Uh, so the, the, the idea is to work, work, build the business, build the house in this old Swabian proverb. And this leads to conservative accounting, but with a very heavy emphasis on quality in production and in design. And it is a global business. It sells to the top 20 global companies in the world in diagnostics. And there is a very strong emphasis on innovation, which is driving the business forward. Development appears crucial to future growth. So how does Stratec make its profits? So this is part of the conservative approach that Stratec takes to, to accounting. About half the staff in Stratec, about 250 people, are in the development function. So that's about 20 million of cost a year, about 19 million uh, reported last year. Uh, most of that gets capitalised. So capitalised 16 million of that. So that's created some assets in the balance sheet, 32 million of assets uh, in terms of capitalised development and another 9 million of uh, income from clients that has not yet been recognised. And those sums are only recognised when the project finishes. So we get large lumpy amounts uh, coming through the P&L from time to time. Uh, the bulk of the income is from construction. So about 86 million is from construction of machines and 25 million in 2012 was from the service parts, which is a highly profitable bit. So effectively, construction, uh, sorry, development really doesn't contribute anything to the earnings. Construction pays the costs and the profits come off the spare or service parts. And unfortunately, service parts fell in, in 2012 as customers de-stocked, general economic climate. So we took a hit on that. So earnings fell slightly. That's, I think, is a short-term situation. We'd expect earnings to recover this year and certainly be much stronger in 2014. How do you see Stratec evolving in the next few years? Well, this is a very interesting stage in its development now. Last year, 2012, they sold 2,600 systems. So it's not a big volume business. It's very much, a, uh, a, in some ways, a craft business. Uh, this year, it'll probably be about 3,000. But what they have is a large number of launches going on. I say launches, their customers, their clients are launching them, selling them to their customers. But Stratec builds these systems for them and they make money from that, and they make money from the, sp uh, the service parts, which follow on as there are more and more of these systems in the market, there's more and more demand for the plastic consumables, replacements, and those are very profitable. So this is how the business develops up and makes money. Now, they've signed a, a further deal in the first quarter of this year, undisclosed company, and they expect to sign a second deal in the second half of the year, possibly quarter three. And that will mean a big expansion in their Swiss manufacturing base. Uh, to, to cope with anticipated demand. So all these things indicate that there's going to be a lot more systems built over the next few years, and that is going to accelerate as time progresses. The other thing that's really happening in the market is a move to molecular diagnostics. This is DNA. So far, the thing is, the, the business is very much concerned with immunoassay, which is using antibodies to detect uh, hormones and so on in blood. They already have a number of molecular systems, the Panther, for example, which is uh, sold for uh, women's health problems, particularly in the, in the United States. It's going really well. Uh, th that's going to be built, built up. And it, as people start to move towards sequencing the entire human genome on a routine basis, then clinical reliability in a routine lab is going to be needed. And that's exactly what Stratec can provide. So they need a customer for that, but 
It's the sort of system which is, will use the Stratec expertise in, in opt optics, mechanical engineering and above all software to deliver a reliable product. John, that's great. Thanks very much indeed mm -hmm. for sharing your knowledge on Stratec with us today.